In this video, we'll see how to use the bond function. So first, we'll press on second and the digit 9. This stands for the settlement date. Let's take the settlement date or the purchase date of the bond to be 5th August. So we've seen in the previ previous videos how to enter the date. So 05.0824. Enter. So the settlement date is stored. Next, we have the coupon. Uh, let's take it as 9. So remember, this is the numerical value and not in the percentage form. Next, we have the redemption date. Let's take it as 31st December 2030. So 31.1230. Enter. Next, we have the redemption value. Let's assume the bond's face value to be 100 and it will be redeemed in its face value. So 100. Next, we have ACT which stands for actual. This states that uh, we have the usual 365 days in a year. If you want to change this format, you can do that by pressing second and then enter. And this tells us that we have 360 days in a year and 30 days every month. But let's keep it as actual for this example. Next, this tells us uh, the number of times we'll be getting coupon in a year. So this is 2 by Y tells us that it's uh, semi-annually. You can change it if you want to annually. But let's keep it as second annually for our example. Now we can either enter the yield and get the price or we can enter the price and get the yield. So suppose we want to enter the yield as 8% because we want a higher price of the bond. So suppose we enter uh, say 7. So in this case the price will be compute 110 which is greater than the face value that was 100. Now suppose if we want the price to be 100 enter in this case the yield will be compute 8.99 which is equal to 9 and this is because of some rounding of error. 